controls. Did I scare ya? Let's just back up a bit. When Splatoon launched back in 2015, motion control stood out as a particularly interesting aspect of the game designed to overcome the slow movement of stick controls with added precision, somewhat mimicking mouse movement for a PC shooter, although this allowed for some spicy movement. Not everybody flooded to the motion controls. Why is that? Well, some people played other console shooters, so it, it felt very unnatural and even nauseating playing with motion, and some just preferred sticks. Having never gotten into other shooters, I've dubbed 1500 plus hours into playing with motion since late 2015, with no problems. So the question is, what happens if I play stick controls exclusively for a week? I've never looked back for motion, but that changes today marks day one of my 7 day self-inflicted journey through motion deprivation. Uh, I suppose that means I have to turn it off now, huh? Uh, this is gonna be hell. Alright, where do I turn it off? Goodbye, plus one motion. I will not be toggling motion controls back on for seven days. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a second. Two seconds later. So a friend invites me to play some Splatoon, I have to use sticks. If a new challenge comes up this week and I want to play it, I have to use sticks. If I want to increase my X power, <laughs> I have to use sticks. And now I gotta figure out what sensitivity I wanted to stick at, I have to use sticks. Cause I mean, I used it for flicking in with motion, but with this I have to use it for everything. I have to use- Alright, we get it, you have to use sticks, now shut up and get to the actual video- Let's start neutral and see where we end up. Oh, I was so confused for a second. The screen, I thought it was frozen. Nope, that's just stick controls for you. Why do people play this way? I am moving my controller so much right now. I mean, I'm fucked. No, I can't. I can't do this. My brain. Ah, uh, I'm gonna come out of this not being able to play Splatoon at all with motion. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have rewired my entire brain. I'm not turning back, but I am gonna regret this. Oh, there's no reason to dwell on the fact that I'm doing it. He says after having dwelled on the fact that he's doing it. Ah, uh, I might as well just go right into it. He says after not having gone right into it. Uh, so for today, let's, let's start with just the splatter shot. I think that's a good neutral weapon. Um, I don't have to be super precise. There's a big, pretty large window of, of the shots. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, what do we even play, man? The turf war is probably infested with a bunch of little kids that got it for Christmas. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have an idea. It's easy. I don't need precision. I don't need to move fast. All I have to do is ink the ground, which I can do without motion. Oh, I can't aim. I can't aim. I can't aim. Leave me alone, dude. That's not fair. Oh, sh please don't come around. Okay, I will say it is kind of nice to um, not have to move my controller at all like I did it with motion I can sit in a more comfortable position and not have to re readjust a bunch And I guess the Y button's pretty useless now. I don't know why you'd need to do that. I can go after this blaster Never mind. I can't just leave me alone. Let me die. <laughs> no, let me live. Dang it. That was the wrong one No, this isn't fair. Leave me alone. Uh oh <laughs> No, leave me alone you jerk. I have no idea where he went. My agility is down to negative five. Mars, I need help. All right, so it's obvious the transition to six did not immediately work out. Shocker. But I wasn't going to let this stop me. So I pushed forward into another game of turf with the splatter shot because I realized adaption is key. And what better way is there to adapt than brute force? I don't know what I was sitting there for. But <laughs> What was I doing? Okay, so maybe brute force happens to be the slowest and most irritating adaption method, but to hell with it. I'm gonna come after that guy. He thinks he can make a fool of me. There's somebody over here. I can hear it. Oh. Dang it. You can't turn. You sit there like a sitting duck for like 50 minutes, it feels like. Why 50 minutes? That was such a, like an arbitrary number. What the hell? Freaking die. Yeah, let's go. Third shot to charm. Come here, guys. I'm confident now that I can kill people. Eh, turn around. <laughs> That's so slow. Oh, let's go. I hit all three shots in a row. What a rare occurrence. Oh, oh first shot. That's amazing. Please die. 
You know, I'll take the trade. I will 100% take any trade during this day one at least. I cannot. Okay. Painting is a struggle. Oh my gosh, we lost by so much. Day one was an experience. We we'll probably go after the sniper. And yeah, let's call it that. In retrospect, I should have seen it coming. Jumping straight into a foreign control scheme from 1500 hours of another was bound to have problems. Apart from moving my controller around like an idiot thinking it was gonna do something, paint spread was the problem. I had trouble painting naturally. It felt like I couldn't focus on anything else while painting since to get good coverage, it required these rigid movements that made it difficult to see what was going on. Motion seems to be a lot better at spreading ink fluidly enough to still see what's happening around me, but that might just be from practice. Anyways, that's it for day one. Now on to day, day two. two. To start day two off, I met a stick controls player in the wild. I wanted to get more intel on stick players, so I figured I'd ask him a few questions. Why did you choose stick controls? Um, sticks. I just get headaches way too easily from the camera turning too quickly. But motion sickness aside, I've been very comfortable with stick controls even before Splatoon since I used to play a lot of Call of Duty. So which is better, sticks or motion? Obviously, it's going to be motion because like they could use it so precisely and I can't do that. But like I've been trying so hard to like become the master at sticks because even if I try to get into motions now, I'm going to be terrible and it's going to take forever. Like I've been using um, sticks for about like eight years and I'm just like, you know, I've been using it for this long. I might as well just like use it until I die. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck? Well, after hearing that beautiful testimony, this wild sticks player challenged me to a duel. Against my better judgment, I accepted, despite him being the master at sticks. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? Who can break it quicker, I wonder? Oh, what? Whoa, well, damn. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, please. No! <laughs> oh, I can't freaking aim. Oh, oh sweet. No, I couldn't swim back. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> oh, oh let's shit. go. I'm done. I'll chalk that up to a lucky shot because, uh,. My precision on that was off. My precision was pretty bad there, but I got lucky and it worked out in the end. But we decided we'd do a first of three to actually see who's better with sticks. Somebody who just started or somebody who's been using them for eight years. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is fine. I'm just gonna, you know. Holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> I got too close there. No, I have beacon. I don't know why I was doing with that. Let me get this on. Let me get this on. Let me get this on. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't really have much to say about that besides I royally suck at stick controls vertical flicks. But no matter. You see, I have found a secret weapon that I'll soon figure out is the key to my stick controls victory. Oh, you're using Clash Blaster. Oh, that's so bad. No, <laughs> I missed the jump. I'm sure you're gonna... Oh. Wow. oh my gosh. Yeah, you're eating me like a bug. Let's go. I can't freaking aim. Tried to like press A, but I pressed A and then I didn't aim in the right spot. Then I had impossible. Aw. Oh, that's close. Yeah, what am I supposed to do if you have the high ground, huh? I don't know. Figure something out. Very annoying weapon. Nope. Nope. Ah! No! <laughs> you missed me. I know, because I can't. Ah! What? Ah, uh, you need to die. Let's yeah, you go. Got me. What the fuck? A well-deserved lead by Clash Blaster. <laughs> anyway. I can't be beaten by a freaking Clash Blaster. No, these are mine. Go away. Ah, uh, stay away. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go, Clash uh, win. I aimed right. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh Dang it. I tried to get, I tried to get you with the trick shot, but it failed. That would have been epic, though. No. Oh, finally, jeez. 
Nah, that's it. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. Should I change my weapon? <laughs> Even all the uh, way. I, this is my stage. If I if I <laughs> if I lose, if I lose, I swear on my life, I'm not playing this game for a month. Well, I don't want that. Oh, I'm dead. No, you're not. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're uh, right. For sure, I thought you were gonna swim up. Come after me. I can't. I'm not sure how to even how you'd even approach this, honestly. Oh, like that. Ah! Okay. Uh, nah, I'm in the kill zone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no! my god! <laughs> Holy I made it to stop. one! <laughs> I used stealth. Uh-oh. How about you just... How about we just chill, you know? <laughs> no. no. Die! <laughs> I don't want to lose to a Clash Blaster <laughs> in my favorite stage. Where are you? Oh, you're behind me. Ah, that's it. No! Turning in my platoon card. I guess this has been a fun ride. I won't be streaming, playing at all. I keep my word. No longer will I be a Splatoon player at all. I will now focus my energy on Mario Kart. All right, thanks for having me. Bye. It'll be fine. Anyways, the rest of day two went okay. I encountered a few new problems with sticks. The first being the inability to quickly tilt a controller to select a person to super jump to on the map. This is definitely a preference thing since there are buttons designed to quickly select things, but I found it hard using this alternative approach. 180s posed another new problem. Without the addition of motion, tilting the stick to turn around was significantly more sluggish, resulting in an ongoing playstyle development in which I avoid turning around at all costs meaning I needed to focus on positioning much more to survive. But at least I got this cool vertical flick. Oh, what a shot! So anyway, uh, there's a challenge going on right now. Unfortunately, that means if I want to play, I have to play with stick controls. I think it's going to be more difficult, and therefore, I think I need to tweak some settings. I've been sitting neutral, but I think I need to go faster. We'll try plus one. I don't want to go too far. It already feels kind of hard to be precise, but um, it's just too sluggish, so I have to turn it up. And then uh, for a weapon, it has to be a Trizuka weapon, right? Oh, conveniently, Clash Blaster's here. With the power of my crayons, I will destroy everybody. Nobody stands a chance against me. Unless they're behind me, then I will probably not turn fast enough, and then they'll kill me. Mm-mm-mm, gameplay. I did not check the mode. Clam Blitz. Okay, um, that's okay. I think that's that's just fine. Uh-oh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Let's go! What a trade! Huge! Why are all my teammates dead? Can people die? Oh. Can- okay, I should have been more specific. Ah. Let's go. Bombs for the win. Oh wait, that's how I play stick controls. I just throw bombs the whole time. Yeah, I'm jumping. I don't care if it's unsafe. Oh, oh I love this great. Pretty great, great. That's the game. Okay, I didn't see much improvement on day three. I kept making similar mistakes like having to turn around and having to turn around, but somehow against all odds, I ended up getting a pretty good challenge power. Wait a minute, did that say 2200? Which ended up locking me in the top 5%. Other notable things from day three include I used wiper and it was pretty bad. <laughs> but also this thing happened. Initiating launch sequence. I gotta love Splatoon 3. Eh, anyway, that's enough of day three. On to day, day four. four. <sighs> this is this is getting difficult. And of course, the week that I decide to do this, without looking ahead, uh, they do three challenges back to back to back. We're only on the second, like the end of the second one. Uh, I suppose for day four, let's try something I haven't used before. Um, let's try Sploosh. I think Sploosh could, could help me out. Maybe bring me a little bit of happiness. Oh, somebody's on the other team. No. Time to be a nuisance. Mobility is still like absolute crap. We're never going to see this coming. Oh, jeez, I can't freaking, I can't make micro uh, movements. It's all just, that's it. Uh-oh. 
No, that was the worst time to use my special. How was I supposed to know that somebody had Kraken? And by somebody, I mean somebody, not like somebody. Oh, come on, guys. Don't be shy. No! Somebody always has Kraken, I swear. Please die. Let's go. Yeah, just keep on running. Yo, let's go. I snuck past. For day four, I found myself getting excited to see that there was a challenge on, but then realizing, oh, that's right. I have to only use stick controls. And it got me down to the point where it's like, I almost didn't want to play at all. Despite all that though, I was making quick work of the sploosh. I mean, I was going hammer with it. <laughs> Do you get it? I'm so funny. But yeah, I 100% did not expect to do that good with it. I mean, just look at and it. I actually started enjoying myself. You'll never take me alive. Not to mention a staggering win streak to compliment that. Heck, people started jumping off of cliffs in my overpowering presence. <laughs> hmm. Wonder who that could be. Oh, it's. All right, what do we have to do today? Okay, so we're playing dress up, apparently. <laughs> Congratulations, my dude. Just me, is there more jellies around here than normal? Are they multiplying? With Sheldon's dress up showdown, there's a potential that I get weapons that are going to be god awful with stick controls. Up to this point, I've been able to choose which weapons I want, and that's the problem. See, it's random. Oh no. Well, I don't have to do this. I could do something else, but I kind of feel like I want to do it. So, what I get? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is okay. Wait, no. Is it? I, I can paint. So I got that going for me. This holds a charge, right? Yeah, this does. You tell I don't use it, because uh, who would? Alright, you know, I'll take the one kill right off the bat. Is there a guy here? There is a guy here. That's pretty cool. Thank you, teammate, for saving my ass. Is ass a swear word? Well, we're going to find out. I didn't really get very far. Um, He's trying to kill me. Somebody save me. Ooh, tenant missiles. So we'll mind if I do. Let's go, curling bomb for the win! <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't turn. I'm not increasing sensitivity either because there's no reason to. It's probably gonna end up worse. I'm scared to do anything, but just stay in this, this terrible state of, it's kind of working, I guess. Dude, can't you pick your own fight? We were having a duel. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a goner. I haven't got a single direct, and that's not a surprise at all, but it is sad. It's a sad fact. Oh, let's go, finally. Only took, like, forever. Okay, there we go. Okay, but they got the freaking 10, so, like, what does it even matter? Ooh, double. Oh, got the carbon too. I don't know who this is. Oh, not somebody I should have messed with. Well, that was our one shot. <laughs> that was kind of scary. And with 10 missiles, we will win. Oh, that's a good trade. That's a good trade. Come on, teammates. You can do it. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Please, 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 please. Just spam. Yeah, let's go. Valid win. I did that! It wasn't very skillful. Although that round wasn't very skillful, I did end up winning all five of my placement matches, even getting this cool arc shot. Oh, what a shot! But knowing I could do better with motion made playing with sticks dissatisfactory, regardless of my win rate. I can't entirely chalk that up to stick controls though, since I made a few critical errors on my own. Mars, watch out, there's a paintbrush. Oh. No. -uh. Day freaking six. We're almost there. Just two more days. Today and tomorrow and I'm done. I can be free. Yeah, so I'm getting kind of tired of um, playing online and I thought I'd change things up for day six a little. So instead of playing against other players, I can play against a different race entirely. That's right, we're doing Salmonilla Run. I stole that joke from Mars. All right, my, th my theory for Salmon Run is if, oh. 
Well, we're gonna just go right into it. No theorizing here. But yeah, my theory in Salmon Run is since they're not players and I know like I can predict what they're gonna do, having to turn really quickly is is just not gonna be a necessity like it is online in uh, multiplayer versus. Um, so hopefully with that difference, I actually will see some pretty decent results, if not just like entirely comparable to motion. Oh, come on. Oh, please don't die. That'd be embarrassing. Of course, I get a sniper on wave two already. Come on, just paint the circle. Never mind, we can't paint the circle. Paint the circle. That's all you gotta do. Win a prize, paint the circle. Paint the circle, win a prize. I'm gonna die. That's gonna be my prize. Paint the circle, win a prize. We're out of freaking ink. Ah! I mean, this is just normal sniper problems. This has nothing to do with sticks. Oh, sh that's high tide. <laughs> you thought you could get me. I'm too intelligent for that. I'm like using a full charge on every single freaking thing. Yay, we did it! Time to commit die! <laughs> Let's go, who cares about this? How do I have a King Salmonoid? I just started. Go for the jugular! Leave me alone. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, I was not paying attention. How am I alive? Dude, stop dying. I can't help you that much. Come on, shoot it. Let's go. It's a perfect salmonella run. Let's go. I don't even have to redo it. I did it perfect the first try. Sticks are valid in salmon run. Oh, how long has my alarm been going off? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy hearing that in the background. I had laundry. I have to go do laundry. Yeah, you know what? We did pretty good. Did I even die? So it turns out my theory was correct. Salmon Run is not a mode that you have to be as vigilant with and you do not have to turn as quickly as in online multiplayer against other people because salmon bosses and things are just much more predictable and sluggish. So if you plan accordingly, sticks are completely viable in Salmon Run, which was a cool thing to figure out. It's a new day, but not just any new day. It's day seven, aka the last day of this dreadful challenge. I can't tell you how excited I am for this to be over, but we're not there yet. For the last day, I think I'm gonna go all in and go to X battle, but don't worry, I have Clash. Clash will save me, Clash is my savior. Clash is the only reason I'm sane right now. We're gonna do it, we're probably gonna be fine. If we're not, you know, whatever. I don't care, I just wanna play X battle. I am, that is my main mode, that is what I like to do, and I can't do, I haven't been able to do it this week until now, because I just didn't feel like I had enough skill. Mm. Sorry, I really wanted to eat that chip. All right, no pressure. I'm just going into an X battle with uh, stick controls and a blaster that I've never really hardly used before this challenge. So far I've done nothing, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I was given a good enough team that I don't really have to worry about anything. Yeah, they're killing everybody. I think I should just get on tower. Never mind. someone else is already on tower. How am I alive? I'm not. Oh, I finally got a kill. Mm, yeah, so oh, we're down two, so that's probably not the best thing. But um, yeah, if we just uh, if we just shark here for a bit and come from behind, that might work. No one knows where I am, so. Ah, uh, so I've noticed a problem. That was the worst time for them to put up a shield. Dang it! Oh shit! I can't do anything. I can't do anything. No. All right, I just have to wait one more day. And then I can go back to my ways, my ways of motion, my motionless ways. No, my motionful ways. Yeah. It's finally time. The day we've all been waiting for, at least the day I've been waiting for, for a very long time. I am so happy that this day has come. <laughs> this is the day. The day, the day that I can turn motion back on. No more will I have to turn the stick to move up and down and left and right exclusively. I can use motion as well as the stick. 
I can flick again. I don't have to turn around like this. I can turn around instantly. Oh, I've been waiting so long for this. Motion on. Wait, wait, I gotta get a weapon that this matters for. You know, took a few tries, but I can turn around instantly, finally. It took so long. It's pretty necessary. Oh, I'm, I am, okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to practice up again. I, I, I have lost, it's coming back pretty quickly, but um, it, it just feels so much quicker. I need to recalibrate using motion. It's just, <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit, but I'm so <laughs> happy it's back. Uh, I guess some final thoughts. Uh, if you want to try to use a different control scheme, I think it's a good idea. And this applies to, well, turning motion off or turning it on, as long as it doesn't hurt you. I, I understand some people get motion sickness and other things, and that's unfortunate. A week at least gives you enough time to decide, okay, yeah, this, this could be viable, or okay, yeah, this is definitely inferior. And in my case, uh, sticks are inferior. <laughs> the allegations are correct. Sticks... They just don't compare. I mean, they do have some pros, such as just holding positions, like looking certain directions. It's never gonna like stray when you let go. It's always gonna stay. But with, with motion, if you're trying to stay homed in on, on something like this, you gotta hold very, very still. Your, um, whereas sticks, as long as the stick's not moving, I mean, it's not gonna freaking move from the position. But besides that, it, I don't really see another pro. Um, I think it's still healthy to understand how it works. Cause if you can identify a stick control player and you are familiar with how it is to play stick controls you can use that to your advantage and know their weaknesses such as just moving back and forth from in front of them behind them because they can't turn or the shit uh that was a fun experiment i'm not doing that ever again but it was fun um hmm. i'm hungry hey maybe maybe stick around you know more to come oh yeah and happy 2024 everybody all right see you guys around